small constriction at the back of your throat. As you inhale, let your belly rise, the ribcage expands side to side, up and down. As you exhale, let the body fully fall heavy into the mat, into the floor. Whatever you're doing, do the opposite with your stance. So if your feet are wide and your knees are in, switch. If your knees are wide, take your feet out nice and wide in the opposite. And just noticing that subtle shift between internal and external rotation. Maybe something you do often and the opposite being something you don't always choose. When you're ready, hug your knees into your chest. Take a little rock from side to side, wiggle your toes, roll your ankles. Take your hands behind your head, elbows wide, knees hover over your hips, ankles line up with your knees. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, lift your head and your shoulders off the mat. So flex your feet, press your big toe mounds into one another, and then start to shift forward so that your knees line up directly over top of your hips. Yes, low back presses down into the mat. You got it, breathe in. As you exhale, kick your left leg straight. Bring left elbow to right knee for one. Strong legs, nice, switch and hold for two. Doesn't matter how low that long leg drops down. Just as long as you can keep, switch. The back of both hips firmly planted into the mat. And low back pressing into four. This is four. Switch, five. You can either point the toes or press through the heel. However, you can extend that energy through the legs. Six. Nice. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Hug the right knee into your chest, drop your head down, hug the knee in. And as much as you're pulling that shin down towards you, press the shin up into both your hands. When you're ready, take it across the midline for a twist, reaching up and over. Inhale, get nice and long through your spine. Exhale, belly to spine, rinse through center. One more deep breath in, find lots of length. Exhale, belly to spine, twist. Slowly come back into center. Bring the right ankle on top of the left knee. You can either keep the foot flat to the floor if you're someone who's a little bit tighter through that right side hip, guiding the right knee away from you. If you'd like to go deeper, squeeze the left thigh into the chest, thread the needle, and just a little rock side to side. Feeling out where you're at today. Keep your legs as they are. If they're not floating yet, float that left foot. Hands come behind the head. Breathe in. Exhale, head and shoulders lifts up off the mat. Breathe in. As you exhale, twist left elbow to right knee for one. Don't let the lower body move. Come back through center. Stay lifted. We cross back over for two. Back to center, we're going to five. This is three, lift and twist, nice, center. Four, keep the legs super active. Right ankle presses into left knee, left knee presses into right ankle. This is the last one, five. Mini pulses towards that right knee. Five, four, three, left hip heavy, two, and one. You got it, unravel, hug the knees into your chest. A little rock side to side, wiggling toes, rolling ankles, even getting into fingers and wrists, tiny joints. And we switch, hands come back behind the head, elbows wide, knees hover over hips, ankles line up with your knees, breathe in. 
As you exhale, lift your head and your shoulders off the mat, imprint spine into four. Breathe in. As you exhale, right leg goes straight, right elbow, left knee for one. Nice, switch and hold for two, like you're moving through honey. Switch and hold, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hug the left knee into your chest, drop your head down, right leg goes long down the mat. A little moment of squeeze, hugging it in, pressing the knee up into hands. Equal parts, push and pull. Take an inhale and as you exhale, take that leg over the midline. Try to press the left shin as far away from you as you can. Inhale, we get nice and long through the crown of the head and big toes. Exhale, pull the belly button to spine, draw the upper rib cage back. Inhale for length. Exhale for twist. Come back into center, figure four. So either that right foot stays flat on the floor or you're hugging it in. A little hip stretch here, rocking it out side to side. Bring that right knee right over top of your hip. Left ankle presses into knee, knee presses into ankle, hands behind the head, breathe in. Exhale, head and shoulders come up off the mat. <sighs> Twisting right elbow, left knee for one. And make sure you're not being sneaky and bringing that knee closer to you, press it away. Good, come back up for two. And center, <sighs> three. Right elbow, left knee, good, four. And center. Last one, five and hold. Mini pulses towards that left knee. Five, four, tiny. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Unravel the legs, hug your knees into chest, and we'll start to rock and roll up and down the mat. When you're ready, cross your ankles, plant your hands, tabletop position. As you inhale, let the belly drop down, shoulder blades squeeze, eyes and chest lift. A little rock through. Exhale, press away, round and curl, tailbone and chin under. Inhale, belly drop, shoulder squeeze, eyes and chest lift, a little rock through. Exhale, press back, round and curl. Last one, inhale, belly drops down, shoulder blade squeeze, eyes and chest lift up. Make sure your hands are right underneath the shoulders. Look forward, lean forward, chin, chest, throat comes down to the mat, shoulder tips meet, heart falls heavy, tailbone rolls high for three. Make sure your eyes are forward, you're not smooshing your face on the floor. Press back, activate every. Your toes under, slide your way through to your belly. Take your right arm out beside you, wrist and shoulder, one line, a little roll. Left foot to the floor behind you, just a gentle stretch, nothing aggressive. Switch sides, come back to center. Please just make sure no weird angles, directly to nine o'clock. Left hand directly out to the left, right foot comes to the floor behind you. 